this is how you would clear your storage. Um, just a couple of clicks and you can take your 100 gigs down to zero if you, know, you have 100 gigs of photos or 200 gigs down. Either way, this is how you would free up space in Google Photos without having to pay for more Google Photos. All right. Hello. I got a haircut. She did get a haircut. <laughs> no more dead ends. Aw. It's almost as good as my hair. <laughs> Amanda is sadly not with us. She is under the weather. She's upstairs sleeping. Uh, yeah. So I was taking the time to show you how to recover your Google Photos storage. <laughs> Now, uh, if you pay for Google One, you'll get, you know, how many ever gigs of storage that you pay for, whether you pay a dollar for 100 gigs, or I believe $2 for 200 gigs, all the way up to like 10 terabytes. Now, I use exclusively Pixel phones, so for me, this kind of uh, doesn't matter because I don't have a threshold, but I do actually pay a dollar a month for the 100 gigs of storage because I wanted to be able to have more than 30 gigs. So when I reach 100 gigs of storage, how do I clear it out? This is what you'd have to do. All right, so I'm in my Google Photos, and uh, you just come over here to your settings gear, and your very, very top option is telling you that I have everything set to store at original, so store photos and videos with no change to their quality. Now, it's given me the option here to buy 200 gigs a month for $299 instead of the 100 gigs. It may be $199 a month. I don't remember exactly. But if I want to clear out some of this storage, I can click Recover Storage. And then it tells me that it's going to compress original items to high quality. So right now, I only have used, used 6.2 gigs of my entire 100 gigs, and 2.9 gigs of that is in my Google Photos. So it will recover 2.9 gigs of storage by compressing photos and videos from original to high quality. So by just clicking this button, it will do its thing. Compressing photos and videos may take over an hour and can't be undone. Compress. And now it's compressing photos and videos to high quality. Now what's going to happen here is this number is going to change from 6.2 down to uh, 3.1 which, or 3.3, .3. yeah, 3.3, .3, because that's how much storage I've used up with email and stuff like that. All I'm clearing here is my Google Photos storage, nothing else, but I'm not even clearing it, I'm just compressing it so that I have more room to download stuff. I should have did this when I, uh, when I had maximum storage full, which is these screenshots right here when it was warning me that I was at 100 gigs. So my math was a little wrong, 3.4 gigs. But either way, I freed up that space and now I don't have to pay extra for my storage. This is the same way you would do it to save money. <laughs> hey, Daddy. What? Tomorrow can I post a morning routine video on your channel? Um, it just sounds like a fun activity. <laughs> maybe, if you can make one and give me the video, we can. I can make it a video. Okay. <laughs> this is how you would clear your storage. Um, just a couple of clicks and you can take your 100 gigs down to zero if you know you have 100 gigs of photos or 200 gigs down. Either way, this is how you would free up space in Google Photos without having to pay for more Google Photos. Now, as a lot of you may know, next June this is kind of going away and they're forcing people to, uh, to pay for Google Photos. They're not going to allow you to compress them unless you're on a Pixel device. So like I'll still be able to compress my photos and have unlimited storage, but anybody on a non-Pixel device will be limited to the 15 or 30 gigs, and then they will be cut off and be forced to pay for Google One. I'm not a, not a big fan of that, especially with me vlogging on my cell phone. I just use a lot of storage. And the sad part about that is I have an Apple phone, and since my phone got water jacked, Daddy had to put install Google Photos on my phone and set it up. And so, somebody's going to have to pay for Google Photos now. <laughs> yeah, unless we get you on another Pixel. <laughs> Can I use your old Pixel? This Pixel? This, she wants my old Pixel 3, but I need it for recording. I use it 
It comes in a lot of handy for recording videos when I need to record this screen. But that will do it for today's video. Click that like button, click subscribe underneath. Hold on. That will do it for today's video. Click that like button, click subscribe, and make sure you check out indulgeclothing.com for our merch. And we will see you in the next video. Deuces. Peace.